Weather alert. Well, we're back. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann here with the team. We're here with Sarah, Nate, Griffin. We are tracking a new thunder, or excuse me, a tornado warning now reissued for northeast Fayette County as well as western, the northwestern edge of Walker County. And we can see some very heavy rain. See those purples there? That's where we're likely seeing a little bit of hail. So notice the red box, and this is what we're noticing. See where those reds and greens are coming together? I know we keep showing you this, but this gives us really the best vantage point because these uh, storms right now are so rain wrapped as far as far as reflectivity is concerned. It's not giving us a lot of those really well defined features that we tend to see on our radar when us as the meteorologist, the human looks at the radar. We try to assess what's going on, so it's going to be making its way towards the city of Kansas in about seven minutes. You can see Kansas there kind of on the bottom edge of the box and likely at about five minutes to Clark. We can hold it here right now for a moment, Sarah, and we'll kind of march through the towns that are going to be impacted. So Dogtown, I would say in about six to seven minutes, all the way up towards Flatwood and Nauvoo. Nauvoo's a pretty well-known area there in Walker County. So if you live from Clark to Dogtown, Spring Hill, Nauvoo, uh, all the way to Flatwood and Slick Lizard there, well, that's where we're going to see the opportunity for the storm to move. That's the track of this storm right now. Ashbanks up towards Poplar Springs. Now that we're not seeing the warning extend that far just yet into Winston County, but we are still tracking it for Walker County. So we want to give you enough of that warning time. So you have about 10 minutes to get to your safe place. Get to the lowest floor of your house. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Stay away from all of those windows. And again, seeing some of that lightning, it will likely pick up a little bit as this storm enters into Walker County. Uh, kind of interesting to note because of so much rain on the outside of this storm, a little surprising that we're still seeing a little rotation. But notice the heights of these storms we're seeing. Uh, it kind of looks like a little mountain peaks there. But one thing I'm not noticing is just one towering uh, cloud there. Where we're seeing the purples, though, that would be this. Actually, that if you pull it forward just a little bit right there, uh, we kind of saw a little bit of an inflow. So as you, as you move back just to the northwest of Carbon Hill, you could actually see almost a little bit of a um, an inflow. And so what happens, that's the updraft. And so that's feeding the storm. And what happens is it feeds the storm. And so it towers. So you see that yellow uh, on your screen there. That's actually forcing the atmosphere up. That's how this thunderstorm grows as it grows. That's where we tend to see some of that hail. So as we were showing you kind of the levels of the atmosphere there. Anytime you saw those deep reds or purples, that could have been a sign of some hail that was falling or incredibly dense rainfall. So uh, looking at this track right now, again, a reissue of this tornado warning. And I really, am, instead of a reissuance, it's really kind of an extension of what was. It just weakened quite a bit, but we've been talking about this all night, how these storms tend to weaken and then for a scan or two, and then they kind of re or reinvigorated. So we've just got to track these very closely. It looks like the severe weather threats for us right now are going to be the rain and the hail. So the purple falls in line with our hailstones there and then the greens that we see fall in line with the rainfall. So this is likely where we're seeing some hail and that hail could also correspond with a stronger part of the thunderstorm, which could be close to, but not right where that tornado would form, but it could be close to the center of circulation. So tracking this right now, Iron Mountain Road, likely getting a little bit of hail out of this all the way up through the city of Clark over towards the town of Kansas, also going to be seeing some hail out of this. So again, the purple that we're looking at corresponds with our severe threat of hail on that uh, legend that you see there. So back to our reflectivity. Remember, this is that radar beam that's shooting out into the space. And then as it comes back, it's giving us information. The faster it returns or slower it returns determines the color that it gets. So and the, kind of the density of, of the object that it runs into. So right now, anywhere that you see greens, that's light rain, yellow, more moderate rain, reds and purple, heavier rain and or some hailstones involved with that as well. As we track this off, Sarah, let's kind of zoom back in because it looks like on the backside, yep, right here near Clark in Kansas is likely where we would see this area of rotation. Again, I'm just, 
I'm just not seeing really substantial no. evidence of this rotation right now, um, but that's something maybe now towards Dogtown and Spring Hill a little bit better, um, but not uh, still not great. However, we still want to bring your attention to it even back towards Eldridge, but let's send it over to the desk right now with Michael Clark. Thanks, Ashley, and we've had our team of reporters